right in the house of General Monday Morgan F. Vice Marshal. Uh, he is the president of the Idoma Unity Summit, a group of agitators for Burma South to produce the next governor of Burma State come 2023. So, sir, you are the president of the Idoma Unity Summit. Yeah. What are the trajectory you have for piloting the affairs of producing the next governor of the state? Okay, F thank you. Um, uh, the platform which I had right now, uh, we have a mandate uh, from the tra our Royal Highness and uh, to ensure that within the Idoma uh, South or the Zone C, if we want to negotiate a change of leadership in Benue State, we, it must be well with us. As you know, there are a few packets of tribes within the domination. Okay. And uh, we've seen that the required unity is needed to have a strong f front mm -hmm. to make a move to discuss with our brothers in Benue State. Do you think that the unity is possible within Benue South people since we know that even among the zone A and zone B, uh, such disunity are found normally among the tribes and the unit that form the Tib Nation. Do you think that this unity program will actually come to be without apportioning blames and without apportioning you know, political offices to these people? No, um, essentially, the, if you have the history of the domination, Idoma is a highly democratic environment. Uh, if you even if you look at the uh, the process of selection of the Achidoma, all the tribes within Zone C have benefited. The we have the Iris there, we have the Utonkong, and of course the majority Idoma. When we were growing up, and I came to know uh, the late uh, Chief Ajeno Pavi, the Oshidoma then, and he's of the Igede stuff. At a later stage, came in uh, Dr. Edwin Nobu, who is an Utonkom man. Before this, now moved to uh, Idoma West by the current Royal Highness. So, essentially, all the aspect of democracy and what rotational leadership is all about is highly perfected within Zonsi already. So the, what we see as little issues of disunity are just very minor issues that I, with my uh, experience and leadership training over the years, should be able to galvanize this group together for an effective negotiating with Zone A and B. As the president, the various group have, you know, endorsed you to lead them and to ensure you give them a viable candidate for the seat of governor that will be acceptable by the Zone A and the Zone B people, which is the team majority uh, group. Do you have anybody in mind right now and what are your plans if you do not have anybody in mind right now, as time is ticking? Yeah, uh, essentially because uh, political programs are supposed to have long-term planning. Uh, 2020 we are in now, mm -hmm. and we expect that by next year, towards the end of the year, we should be seeing the gladiators that would like to have a shot at this position. Uh, one other thing that is very crucial is that I'm not in this uh, group that think that the agitation should be confrontational. I believe that when the two, the three zones meet politically for discussions, 
will be able to have a way out. Because I don't believe that a majority must always carry the votes. Yes, in politics, majority matters a lot, but the minorities must have their votes. Say, if you look at the historically, if they go back to uh, Europe, with the demise of the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. the historical leaders there came up to appreciate that minority matters. The language Italiano today is not the majority uh, uh, language of the major tribe of of yeah. of, of uh, Rome or the uh, of Italy. They went to Prato, a very tiny group of tribe, because they now realize that if you pick a bigger tribe, the other tribes will agitate. They decided to take the smallest tribe and make it in national language. So Latin is an is a dead language. But Italiano, which is spoken today, is a product of a small tribe in Italy. So that is leadership. And we believe that if it happens in Europe, we are talking about globalization. Everybody is hooked up to uh, the CNN, Al Jazeera, all sort of international media. So the things that happen in advanced countries must happen here. And even within Nigeria, the tribes of the North Central states, Plateau, for example, has demonstrated a lot of maturity in the way they rotate leadership within the zones. We came out of Beni uh, Plateau. Yes. We were Beni Plateau. The same thing in Nasarawa state. So also in Plateau, I mean, uh, in, in United States. So these um, arrangements, are si very seamless arrangement, uh, born out of political uh, maturity. The Thief brothers have matured people, very mature. One of the matured politicians in Tivland that I respect is a uh, uh, the form, His Excellency, the former Senate President Ayu, he plays with us, he plays God with us, and he understands these are matured politicians that we could discuss with. And there are a lot of other military colleagues of mine in Zone A and B. I have been like a bridge builder a long time. But like I always tell you, because of my relationship and my social interaction with these other groups of my age group and our senior brothers over there, mm -hmm. Some people think I have a political ambition. Yeah, I was going to ask okay. you that. I don't, because everybody has his own character. My character is not a political uh, character. You're I love, I am a soldier. I don't see black and call it white. So I can't be a politician, but I can be a kingmaker. And in the, push, in the, the process of the what we are doing will be interfacing with several platforms in in zone C that are already getting ready for this agitation. So we will come to a table and discuss because when you look at the failures of leadership in Benin State, you cannot allude it to a particular administration like Otton's administration now so fast because of the preceding administrations that have not gotten it right. So I don't blame any particular person, but it's a collective responsibility for us to write the things that have gone wrong. And I think that I'm eminently qualified and I will choose a group of objective leaders like me are politically targeted. I will target those guys that I'll pick them and we'll sit down and I think whatever move we do eventually, the elders, the youth and my aid mates, we are the middle age now, they will respect our decisions. It is not how rich you are, 
He does not have political savvy you are, but a leader that will respect everybody. Elders, the traditional tools, respect young people and ideas, good ideas. So that is the intention. Good. Have you considered the factor of the political party platform? Uh, like I told you, I'm not interested in uh, in in politics. Yes. Yes, when we in the f phase of serious negotiation, political parties will be doing their own thing. Politicians will be doing their own things. Okay. Mm. And like we say, we want to agree in Zone C that if whoever we pick which will be so clear all the political parties are likely and that thing will fall behind it. If we ask whether you have somebody genuine in mind now, would you be able to answer that? No. I would like to liken myself to uh, an architect. When an architect is designing a building, he has idea. You put certain criteria that must be in place for the house to turn up this way. As we walk along the path, when we build that vision, that this is a visionary leader, this is he must satisfy this, he must satisfy this, we must satisfy it. There's nobody who is logical in thinking that will argue with us at that point. Thank you very much. But are you aware that there are some persons, aspirants from the TV? region that have started their campaign already ahead of 2023 yes you can it's an it's a political ambition but the way we're going to negotiate at the end of the day Bene state will be respected because we'll do it in such a way that the, the thief will understand that time has come to try the other group. Thank you very much, uh, Air Vice Marshal Morgan Monday, for this wonderful exclusive and uh, press statement. You know, for the navigation of the Idama Unity Summit. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. That has been AVM Monday Morgan, an exclusive with TVN, uh, in respect to the agitation of the very sad people for Governor come 2023. It has been Daniel Atai reporting for TVN.